afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here for our second episode back after our little COVID hiatus. Uh, just to let you guys know, things are still rocking and rolling over here at Cigar Club. Uh, we haven't made any changes now as to how we're operating, but you can still come in the building to shop. Uh, we still have uh, quick you know, clean cash out the door options. If you want to just come in 40 bucks, 20 bucks, 35 bucks, grab a sampler and go. Uh, that helps minimize uh, the amount of change that we have to swap back and forth. So we've got the samplers out there, good to go. Still plenty of those. If you hadn't gotten those yet, come by and check those out. And we are still waiting on new product to continue to roll into the humidors. We get things replenished after this little bit of downtime that we've had. So what we wanted to do today is something that we probably should have done by now. Uh, but we haven't. Uh, usually when it comes to the Humidor Report, I like to kind of try and shine a light on things that, that you might not know about or something that you know maybe hasn't quite hit the mainstream yet. So I want to try and keep you up to date on that new kind of stuff. But what we're talking about here is anything but new. It's not anything that's even really needed any help selling. You guys, once y'all found out that we had them on the shelves over here, this has been a heavy mover for us since the beginning. But I think it is important that at least at some point we talk about Liga Privada. If you're not familiar with Liga Pravada, Liga Pravada is made by Drew Estates. Now, many of you might only associate Drew Estates with acid cigars, tobacco specials, the other infused or flavored creations that is Drew Estate. Well, this was a venture away from that. And that actually came down as an idea from a former vice president or a former president and general manager of Drew Estates, a guy by the name of Steve Saka. When Saka came on board as the president of Drew Estates, Saka had a problem. Saka didn't smoke flavored cigars or infused cigars. And when he was hanging out with his contemporaries, such as Krishni Roa or Rocky Patel or Lito Gomez, he wasn't going to hand one of those guys a blondie or a Cuba Cuba to smoke. And he told them as much. Well, at the time, the tobacco guy for Drew Estates was Nick Leo. Now, Nick started working on a blend that became a private blend for Saka. Liga Privada, meaning the private line. First Liga was created in 2007, and the original blend is what is best represented now in the Liga 9. Uh, the blend that was made for Saka is not even precisely what's on the table. Uh, what was made for Saka is something that really couldn't be put into production. There wasn't enough tobacco to even get into a limited production, much less any type of full-scale production. And Saka himself even said that this was never even supposed to be released to the public. It was supposed to stay the private line. Now, I got lucky a few years ago hanging out in New Orleans on a sweltery July evening that I got to sit poolside for probably two to three hours with Steve Saka himself and got a lot of interesting stuff from the guy whom was the reason that Liga Pravada exists in the first place. What Saka told me was that in his opinion, Liga Pravada is not a good cigar. That seems a little hard to understand. With as well as it sells, as popular as it is, and as much as people pitch a fit over these cigars, what do you mean it's not good? Well, what he means by that is it's not good by the traditional measures that you would think define a well-blended cigar. He said it's not balanced. It's rustic. It's earthy. It doesn't have those fine nuances that you want to put into a cigar to please everybody. It wasn't meant to please everybody. It wasn't even really meant to be smoked by anybody, except Saka and whoever he gave one to. So it is an intentionally rustic and unbalanced blend. But he didn't care. It was what he wanted, so that's what Liga became. When Liga first started getting out, it was coming from Saka, handed out at events here, there, and so forth. And eventually the blend got out and people smoked it. And probably because they could get it, everyone started chomping at the bit for it, freaking out, trying to get a hold of this Liga Pravada product. So eventually, Drew Estates went ahead and put the product out. In order to get Liga Pravada, you have to be what is called a Drew Diplomat level retailer. And that takes years of doing business with a company that you can get to the buying level that you even qualify to have this on your shelves. Another thing that some people don't realize about it is it is still very, 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 very allocated. So much so that we can't just pick up the phone and say, hey, I need three boxes of feral pigs or send me four boxes of velvet rats. You wait until you get that phone call from the company saying, hey, we have a Liga allotment. This is what's available and this is how many you can have. So if it ever reaches a point that we can't get the specific Ligas on the shelves that you want, 
That's why. Uh, we can only get what we can get when they let us have it. And fortunately, even though with the world being a crazy mess right now, we actually have a pretty decent selection of Liga on hand right now. Not quite as much as I'd like, but we've got some and figure it would be a good time to show off some of this stuff to you guys now. Again, Liga 9, this is the commercial version of that original Sokka blend. A little different than that original blend. Uh, but this is sporting your Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. A uh, little hard to find right now, Broadleaf. There's some other blends. I know the Corim from uh, Crown Heads I've had trouble finding. Uh, I think Jacob's Ladder from Southern Draw. Not a lot of Broadleaf out there right now. But Drew's still at it. We're still getting some. Maybe not as much Liga 9 product as we are T52 these days. But it's happening. It's still coming in. And we've still got at least a couple incarnations of the 9 sitting over here. Now on the left, my left side of the table over here, this is the T52. The second variation on the theme, same blend, but we go from a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper to a stalk cut Havana. Stalk cut's an interesting thing in that normally leaves are primed from a tobacco plant. You'll visit one plant usually eight different times pulling leaves off before you strip the whole plant. Then you uproot the plant, throw it away, and seed new plants for the next year. What you do with a stalk cut plant, <clears throat> be it Havana or any other type of tobacco, is you're going to cut the plant off at the base of the ground and hang the whole plant upside down to dry. That leaves all the sap, all those minerals, all those nutrients, everything that's in the veins and the stalk of that plant drain down into those leaves. So whereas the blend is very earthy and rustic, I think that earthy and rustic nature is accentuated by that Habano because it's a, a, such an earthy take on Habano because it's a stalk cut as opposed to that bright, cedary, bready, spicy thing you can typically get from a lot of Habanos. Uh, then you have the Unicos. Now the Unicos, these come and go. These are the, the, the hardest and the weirdest to try and get your hands on. And what they mean by Unico is Unico is a unique variation on the Liga blend. So each of these are their own unique size and unique variation on the Liga blend. Uh, we've got right now Velvet Rats, UF-13s, Dirty Rats, and the Feral Flying Pig. Uh, Feral's been a pretty popular one. It's a good size. I think a lot of people like that because it is one of the bigger Unicos. Uh, so that's been a very popular one. Usually these don't hang around here long when we get them. We've got a couple of customers that will wipe us out of them as soon as we get them. So while we've got them on the shelf, and I know that that customer is good at the moment, definitely want to let you all know about these. Check them out and get some if you want to see what Feral's all about. The last thing we've got is technically still a part of the Unicos line, but it's a little bit more of a throwback to the Liga 9. And what that is, that is going to be your Papas and your Nasty Fritas. Now what these guys are, these are a variation of the Liga 9 blend, but it is a mixed fill version. Uh, if you're familiar with a lot of bundled cigars, where you've got long fill tobacco in there and a bunch of short fill in there to fill it out, uh, that's where you get those cigars in that 3 to $5 range. Usually it's going to be what's considered mixed fill. So the Papa's Fritas and the Nasty Fritas both are mixed fill versions of the Liga 9. So if you didn't want to jump off into that $15 to $20 price range that you'll see with these guys on the front row, these guys here are $7, bucks, uh, $5.75 even for the, the Papa's Fritas. But this would give you a good idea as to what that Liga 9 tastes like. And if you really end up liking one of the Fritas, you will probably absolutely love the Liga 9, the Unicos, the T-52s, and so forth. So that's a little bit of background here into Liga Privada. So if you have not had it, by all means, come by and check it out and grab you some. If you are one of those that chases all those Unicos and you've been looking for Velvets, Dirties, UF-13s, or Ferals, we've got them for now, as long as they last. And we will have to wait and see over the next couple months when we get our next phone call as to what Liga Privada we'll be able to get for our next shipment from Drew Estates. We want to thank uh, Jane Lynn Hunter, who's our Drew Estates rep, takes good care of us over here and everybody at Drew Estates uh, for keeping this product coming. JD, we love you, buddy. You're one of the coolest cats in the biz. Thank you for everything you've done for us over the years and just everything you've done for the industry. We appreciate it. We love you guys. And if you hadn't checked it out, come get in and get in on some of that Drew Estate love as well. So that's going to wrap it up. Thanks again for tuning in this week, guys. We'll be back with you next week with hopefully some fresh new products, new stuff rolling in as we get as close back to normal as we can get under the circumstances. But we'll be back here doing it for you Wednesday, 3 p.m. next week, right here on the Cigar Club Facebook page. So for now, that's going to wrap things up. We will see you next week. And until then, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.